Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Fiti Atijani. For those of you that don't know me, know me now and please subscribe to my channel, okay? Thank you. I've been away for a long time, at the, the whole of January. So let me just first of all say, Happy New Year to you all and I hope you all enjoyed your New Year break because I did. I took a break throughout January just to let you guys know things like that are about to happen and I'm a part-time YouTuber but I'm not going to be taking that long of a break anymore in today's video I'm going to be sharing my morning um, and nighttime skincare routine with you all fingers crossed I share that nighttime skincare routine but yeah that's what I'm going to be doing I'm going to actually be starting my skincare journey with you guys I started it last year but mm, I wasn't consistent in any way but this year I've made a decision that I must be consistent so you guys are basically going to see my skin improve throughout the year meaning i'm going to post three different videos this is the first one i'm going to post another one sometime in between the years so better subscribe so you can know because i won't tell you when it's just come like shop so i'm going to post one in between the year and also december at the end of december so you guys will see the final result oh well, yeah and yes now i've already applied my skincare on my face and that's why i'm growing like this stay tuned stay tuned and watch okay because i know you're interested all right i'll see you guys in the toilet because that's where i do my skincare. Just before I start applying all this skin stuff on my face, I would like to let you guys know that I use this healing ointment cream on my face for two weeks just because my moisture barrier was damaged and on it it says that you know it helps to protect and relieve mirror skin irritation so because I don't know how your skin is, my skin was kind of sensitive to the product so I used it for two weeks and after two weeks I was able to you know, apply all those serums on your face and I would like to say one more thing, if you apply any of these um, products on your face and you realize that they are hurting you that doesn't mean like it's actually working you get like it means that it's actually damaging your skin more so i advise that you use this before you apply any of those products so first i'm going to be going with this CeraVe hydrating cleanser it basically just helps to you know restore your skin without leaving it tight and you know dry and all of that stuff so yeah let's just put that um how to apply this is basically putting warm water on your face like the warm water because it's not for me you get to see how it's like on my face though so this is how much i put i think this is even too much but <laughs> Had my head so deep in the sand When I met you didn't have plans But I stayed when I should have ran hey, And this happens every time Get too close when I'm playing with fire I get burned but I know I'll be fine so now I'm going to be going with my niacinamide brightening toner. This helps in brightening your skin and also, you know, reducing the um, large pores that occur on your face. And I think you all know what pores is. They're like small openings on your face that bring out oil and sweat and all of those stuff. So I basically just use... There are different ways you can apply this on your face. You can decide to just put it on your um, palm and just, you know, dab it in. But I like to use this cutting pad on my own face i don't know i don't just like getting my hands all messy <laughs> so i just do it and you just drop like a few drops on it just drop the one that you feel like would be enough for your face hey, got me running around in circles looking for a shortcut does it get easier because i'm trying as you can see it's like really dirty and you know not super dirty because I just washed my face and you saw me applying it to my neck side it's good to like you know when you're applying stuff on your face try to like spread it out to your neck because you don't want your face to be looking brighter than your neck that doesn't really make much sense so I'm done with that I'm just gonna wait for this to dry a little bit before I start applying all these serums on my face I don't have a fan so I'm just gonna do this <laughs> now the next thing I'm going to be applying on my face is going to be like the serums I use good molecules Mind you, this video is not being sponsored in any way. So, yeah, the first um, serum I'm going to be applying on my face is the Discoloration Correcting Serum. This helps to improve the appearance of um, age spots, like all the spray dark spots you have on your face, um, acne, and hyperpigmentation. With the name, you can already understand Discoloration Serum. It helps to you know, make your skin even you know, dark hair, light hair, just makes it even. And I would like to note that you shouldn't, when you're applying this serum on your face, you shouldn't let this um, pressing bottle stop. I think it's called a wand. I don't know. Don't let it touch your skin because there are bacteria on your skin. And I also share this product with my sister, so I don't want to be sharing the bacteria stuff back and forth between her.
So the next serum is hyaluronic acid serum. This serum helps to you know make your skin stay hydrated and makes draws moisture into your skin. You want your skin, you want your skin all dry and messy. So that's why I use this serum. I'm just gonna apply it. So I'm just waiting for it to dry for you guys see how my skin is already feeling. I'm one of those people that I've not yet finished using the product but I can already see the effects much more. small. <laughs> see me! I'm just waiting for it to dry it to before I put the next serum like this. So the last serum I'm going to be going in with today is the Daily Brightening Serum. This one helps to brighten your skin and target specific dark spots on your face. If you notice, all my serums are targeting specific dark spots on my face and that's just because I have like dark spots on my face and I really want them to, you know, get out of there because it doesn't have to be there. What's it looking for there? You don't belong here. So yeah, that's just what this one does. So while I wait for this to dry, I'm just going to talk a little bit about how you have to apply this on your face. The secret is there's not actually any step to apply it. You can decide to apply the discoloration serum first or you can apply the um, hyaluronic acid serum first. It doesn't really matter. Just pick what you're comfortable doing and be, um, in terms of the amount you're meant to apply on your face, if you have like a wide face, you're applying more. If you have small face, just put. It doesn't really matter how much you put just put something that you know that would go around your face and fit well and also i think i mentioned it earlier but in case if i in case i didn't you can decide to apply the serum on your hand and by like tapping it like this and you know just putting it on your face so that's just how it is there's no strict rule to applying all these things just do what you feel like doing do how you feel like applying and that's all so now i think this is dry so i think now i can apply my sunscreen so the last thing i'm going to be applying for my morning routine is my sunscreen i always apply the sunscreen whether i am going out or i am staying in the main reason why is that um, people advise for you to use sunscreen when you're inside is because you have you know your glass your window is reflective so the sun can still penetrate into your skin the only reason why you may not want to use sunscreen when you're inside is if you have like a very thick thick blind like thick window whereby the sun cannot penetrate into it this basically just protects your skin from the sun So I'm done applying the sunscreen. I do not have any specific recommendations for sunscreen to be honest. Just use whatever you feel like is good for you. But this is the one I'm using. I would add a picture there just in case. And also when you're applying sunscreen on your face, I advise that you don't let it get in contact with your eye because it gets sunscreen is irritates my own eye. I don't know about yours. And water will start coming out of my eye, which I really don't like. I don't like crying outside. It's not because I'm crying, but I'm actually not crying. Apply sunscreen. The instruction says apply it after every two hours i am guilty of this i actually don't follow the instructions when it comes to applying it every two hours because i forget but please do apply it after every two hours So yeah guys, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed watching me apply my skincare products on my face because me, I enjoyed applying them with you guys. Even if people were not physically here present with me, I enjoyed it. If you have any questions concerning the products I applied on my face or maybe you didn't understand any of the things I said in the video, leave your um, questions in the comment section and I'll be answering them. Just to let you guys know, I'm not an expert in terms of all this skincare stuff, but I'll definitely answer you guys to the best of my knowledge. And also please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed give this video a thumbs up and also comment some other nice stuff even if there are no questions in the comment section anything is allowed in the comment section nice comments are allowed in the comment section and i'll be seeing you guys in my next video bye i love you all bye.